Now, over the past seven or eight years of my personal dividend growth investing journey, there's been a small handful of tools that I figured out how to use, which helped me substantially when it comes to things like stock picking, analyzing a stock, a company, and overall just having more data, more insight, and more motivation to keep investing heavily, which is exactly what I've been doing for years now. But out of every single website or every single tool, there's one specific thing that completely changed my motivation and my entire investing journey. And this is a tool that you most definitely should use if you're not right now. And this is exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. So if you want to see exactly which tool changed everything for me when it comes to long-term investing, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below, and let's get right into it. So like I said during the intro, there's lots of different things that have helped me throughout my investing career. Different websites like SeekingAlpha.com, Dividends, StockAnalysis.com. There's tons of different websites out there. I'm not sponsored by a single one of them, by the way. But there's lots of cool resources out there these days to help you with building out your portfolio long term. And I have to admit, a lot of these resources did help me, especially talking back in the early days. But one of the biggest paradigm shifts, one of the biggest changes I had personally with my long term investing strategy, specifically for me as a dividend investor, someone that's looking to build out a long term portfolio portfolio that not only is going to pay them more and more in dividend income long term, but I'm trying to build a portfolio that's going to take care of all my bills, my family's bills, etc. in the future. Now I had the biggest paradigm shift a few years ago, I want to say, which was probably around four or five years into my dividend investing journey. And that was when I started to track every single stock and ETF that I was purchasing on a daily basis. Because for me personally, I trade every single day. I try to buy more income producing assets, be it stocks or ETFs, every single day that the stock market is open. Now I'm not even certain I can take full credit on this. I think it was actually another investor that I came across. Maybe it was on YouTube, maybe it was on Twitter. I can't really remember. But someone was explaining the idea of tracking every single stock and ETF that you buy ongoingly and using that as massive motivation because for every single share of whatever dividend paying stock or ETF you're purchasing today, that stock or ETF, if of course they pay a dividend, is going to give you basically a monthly or quarterly increase in forward dividend income or paid active dividend income moving forward. Now, it's not that I didn't already know that that's kind of how this whole thing works. I was already pretty far into my investing journey by this point, but again, tracking it, tracking every single share like you can see right here in my dividend tracker, tracking every single share of realty income, for example, that I add to this dividend tracker, which in my specific dividend tracker is automatically going to add another share's worth of dividend income paid monthly moving forward. Now the custom dividend tracker that you can see right here in the screen, this is a custom dividend tracker that I built a while back and you can yourself grab this custom dividend tracker and use it for your investing journey. It's the first link down below my description. But whether or not you use my custom dividend tracker or build your own or use someone else's, it really doesn't matter to me. But what's most important is trying to get you to the point to where you are also going to have that massive paradigm shift to where you're not necessarily going to look at dividend investing the same way. I want you to look at every single share of whatever stock or ETF that you're buying ongoingly and look at that as a money-making machine. And by tracking the amount of dividend income that it's going to add to your portfolio per month, per year, whatever the case might be, it's going to give you a massive amount of motivation, especially once you get to the point to where you can add five or 10 shares of whatever your favorite dividend stock or ETF is ongoingly. Now, this brings me into one of the main reasons I absolutely fell in love with dividend investing from day one. Dividend investing, although it's not an instant gratification strategy, although it takes a long, long time to build out a substantial portfolio to where it can pay for your bills, pay for your, all your life expenses, etc. In the case of tracking every single dividend paying stock in ETF's dividend, ongoingly, looking at how much per month that added to your monthly total, looking at how much per year that added to your monthly total, by tracking your dividend income from every single stock and ETF that you purchase, it is giving you a small hit of dopamine. It's giving you a small bit of instant gratification, which we as long-term investors, let's be real here, we definitely need to get as much instant gratification as we possibly can because this journey, this strategy is basically the opposite of an instant gratification hit. And because of that small burst of instant gratification, every single time I go into my dividend tracker right here and add another share of SHG or add another share of Realty Income or add another share of JEPQ, etc., which are just a few of the names that I purchase pretty much every other day or so. Every single time I go in here and add another single share, like I said, it's going to change the amount of total forward yearly income I'm going to be receiving. And on top of that, the total monthly income is going to go up as well. Now, although every single investor out there has a different strategy for the most part, and there's going to be different things that are going to motivate one investor compared to another. Like for example, some investors out there might see a portfolio like this and see that this portfolio's value hasn't necessarily went up all that much over the last year and maybe be disappointed in that. But there's other investors out there that might see how much dividend income this portfolio is providing and see a life filled of freedom or potential freedom in the future. 
Now, I'm not necessarily saying that you have to look at dividend investing exactly the same way that I do, but I will say this and listen closely, especially for long-term investors that do have years and years ahead of you, this is going to be quite a long journey. So you need to figure out different ways to stay motivated and find different reasons on how it can stay fun to keep investing all your hard-earned money in different dividend-paying stocks and ETFs or whatever you want to invest into at that. Because I'll tell you, over the years, there's going to be times where you get your cash balance in your portfolio, maybe you transfer it from your paycheck, and there's going to be moments in time where you're going to question the journey. There's going to be moments where you're asking yourself, should I really invest this $300 in a dividend-paying stock or ETF, even if it's only going to pay me, say, a few quarters on a monthly basis? But by tracking your dividend income, I promise, it's not necessarily going to change anything on paper, but it is going to visually show you what you just did for yourself in the future. By buying a few shares of whatever stock or ETF you purchase, it's going to show you exactly what that's going to do to your total yearly income and of course your total monthly income, which in my personal opinion has been substantial and has been one of the biggest changes for my long-term journey. So now that I shared with you guys probably one of the biggest paradigm shifts, one of the biggest transformations in my dividend investing journey, and the fact that it was literally just as simple as tracking every single stock and ETF that I purchased long term. Like I said, you can use my dividend tracker right here, which is down below in my description. Or of course, you can build your own. I mean, heck, you can use a piece of paper for all I care. But tracking your progress is going to keep you extremely motivated. I almost guarantee it. But now, most importantly, I want to hear from you guys down below. I want to know, as of right now, are you currently tracking your dividend income like I talked about in this video? Or are you not? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks, as always, for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.